Okay, cool. So Phoenix is uh, is an incredible place, and what you've announced in Phoenix is uh, it's kind of amazing. But you know, that's just like one city. How do you take over the world? Uh, I mean, I'm asking for a friend. One, one, <laughs> one, one step at a time. Uh, one Pinky, step at a time. is that uh, the cartoon Pinky in the Brain? Yeah. Okay. Uh, but you know, gradually is uh, a true answer. So I think the heart of your question is: Can you, know, can you, what, can you ask a better question than I asked? You're asking a great question. Answer, answer I, that one. I, 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 I'm, I, you know, just gonna. You know, phrase it in the terms that I want to answer. Yes, sir. Perfect. This is exactly <laughs> so, right. Brilliant. Um, <laughs> Please. <laughs> now, uh, you know, where are we today? And, you know, what happens next? Uh, and what does it take to go beyond Phoenix? And was it, what does it take uh, to get this technology to more places and more people around the world? Right. Um, so, our next big area of focus is exactly that uh larger scale commercialization and just you know scaling up uh if i think about you know the main and you know phoenix gives us that platform and gives us that foundation of upon which we can build and it's there are few really challenging aspects of this whole problem that you have to pull together in order to you know, build the technology, in order to you know, uh, deploy it uh, into the field, to go from a driverless car to a fleet of cars that are providing uh, a service, and then you know, all the way to you know, commercialization. So uh, and then, you know, this is what we have in Phoenix. We've taken the technology from uh, a, a proof point to an actual deployment, and have taken our driver, you know, from a, you, know, a, a, you know one car to a fleet that can provide a service. Um, beyond that, if I think about what it will take to scale up and you know deploy in you know more places with more customers, I tend to think about uh, three main. Uh, dimensions, three main axes um, of, of scale. One is the core technology, you know, the hardware and software, core capabilities of our driver. Uh, the second dimension is evaluation and deployment. And the third one is just the you know product, commercial, and operational excellence. So you can talk you know, uh, a bit about where we are along you know each one of those three dimensions, about where we are today and you know what has what will happen next um, on you know the core technology on you know the hardware and software uh, you know together uh, comprise of driver uh, we you know obviously have that foundation that is providing you know fully driverless trips to our customers as we speak uh, in fact uh, and we've learned a tremendous amount from that so now what we're doing is we are incorporating all those lessons into some pretty fundamental improvements in our core technology, both on the hardware side and on the software side, to build a more general, more robust solution that then will uh, enable us to massively scale you know, beyond Phoenix. So on the hardware uh, side, uh, all of those lessons are now incorporated into this fifth generation hardware platform that is you know, uh, being deployed right now. And that's the platform, the fourth generation, the thing that we have right now driving in Phoenix. It's good enough to operate, operate fully driverlessly, you know, night and day, you know, various speeds and various conditions. But the fifth generation is the platform upon which we want to go to massive scale. Uh, we, it, in term, we've really made qualitative improvements in terms of the capability of the system, the simplicity of the architecture, the reliability of the redundancy. Um, uh, it is designed to be manufacturable at very large scale and you know provides the right unit economics. So that's that's the next big step for us um, on the hardware side. That's that's already there for scale, the version that's five. Right. That's right. And you, uh, is that uh, coincidence or should we look into a conspiracy theory that it's the same version as the Pixel phone? <laughs> is that what's the hardware? I they can neither confirm nor okay. deny. All right. Lux. <laughs> All right, cool. So, sorry. So that's the okay. That's that axis. What else? 
Uh, so similarly, you know, the hardware is a very con- discrete jump, but you know, similar to the uh, that to how we're making that change from the fourth generation hardware to the fifth, we're making similar improvements on the software side to make it more you know robust and more general and allow us to kind of you know, quickly uh, scale beyond Phoenix. So that that's that first dimension of core technology. The second dimension is evaluation and deployment. You know, how do you uh, measure your system? How do you evaluate it? How do you build the release and deployment process where you know you, with confidence you can you know regularly release new versions of your driver into a fleet? Uh, how do you get good at it so that it is not you know a huge tax on your you know, researchers and engineers? That you know so you can how, how do you build all these you know processes, the frameworks, the simulation, the evaluation, the data science, the validation, so that you know people can focus on improving the system and kind of the releases uh, just go out the door and get deployed across the fleet. Uh, so we've gotten really good at that uh, in uh, Phoenix. That's been a tremendously difficult problem, uh, but that's what we have uh, in Phoenix right now that gives us that foundation. And now we're working on kind of incorporating all the lessons that we've learned uh, to make it more efficient, to go to new places, you know, and scale up and just kind of, you know, stamp things out. Uh, so that's that second dimension of evaluation and deployment. And the third dimension is uh, product commercial and operational excellence, right? And again, Phoenix there uh, is providing uh, an incredibly valuable Platform, you know that's why we're doing things end to end in Phoenix. We're learning, as you know, we discussed uh, a little earlier today, tremendous amount of really valuable lessons from our users, getting really incredible feedback, uh, and uh, we'll continue to iterate on that and incorporate all those uh, those lessons into making our product, you know, uh, even better and more convenient for our users. So you, you're converting this whole process of Phoenix in Phoenix into uh, something that could be copy and pasted elsewhere. So like, uh, perhaps you didn't think of it that way when you were doing the experimentation Phoenix, but so how long did, you basically, I mean, you can correct me, but you've, I mean, it's still early days, but you've taken the full journey in Phoenix, right? As you were saying, uh, of like what it takes to basically automate. I mean, it's not the entirety of Phoenix, right? But I imagine it, it can encompass the entirety of Phoenix at, at some point some uh, near-term date, but that's not even perhaps important, like as long as it's a large enough geographic area. So what, how copy pasteable is that process currently? And how, do, like, um, <laughs> you know, like when you copy and paste in in, uh, in Google Docs, I think, no, in, in or in Word, you can like apply source formatting or apply destination formatting. So how, when you copy and paste uh, the Phoenix into like, say Boston, uh, how, how do you apply the destination formatting? Like how much of the core of the entire process of bringing an actual public transportation, autonomous transportation service to a city is there in Phoenix that you understand enough to copy and paste into Boston or wherever? Um, so we're not quite there yet. We're not at a point where we're kind of massively copy and pasting all over the place. Uh, but Phoenix, what you know, we did in Phoenix, and we very intentionally have chosen Phoenix as our you know, first full deployment uh, area, you know, exactly for that reason, to kind of tease the problem apart, look at each dimension, you know, focus on the fundamentals of complexity and de-risking you know, those dimensions, and then bringing the entire thing together to get all the way uh, and force ourselves to learn all those hard lessons on, you know, on technology, hardware and software, on the evaluation deployment, on you know, operating a service, operating a business, using you know, uh, actually you know, um, uh, serving our customers, all the way so that we're fully informed about the most uh, difficult, most important challenges to get us to that next step of massive copy uh, and pasting, uh, mm-hmm. as uh, as you said. Uh, and uh, that's what we're doing right now. We're incorporating all those things that we learned into that next system that then will allow us to kind of copy and paste all over the place and to massively scale to you know more users and more locations. And you know, just talked a little bit about you know what does that mean along those different dimensions. So on the hardware side, for example, again, it's that. Uh, switch from the fourth to the fifth generation. And the fifth generation is designed to kind of have that property. Can you say what other cities you're thinking about? Like I'm thinking about 
Sorry, we're in San Francisco now. I thought I want to move to San Francisco, but I'm thinking about moving to Austin. Um, I don't know why. People are not being very nice about San Francisco currently. For maybe it's a small, It's like maybe it's in vogue right now. But uh, Austin seems, I visited there and it was, um, I was in a Walmart. Uh, it's funny, these moments uh, like turn your life. There's this very nice woman with kind eyes, just like stopped and said, uh, you look so handsome in that tie, honey, to me. This has never happened to me in my life, but just the sweetness of this woman is something I've never experienced, certainly in the streets of Boston, but even in San Francisco where people wouldn't, that's just not how they speak or think. I don't know, there's a warmth to, uh, to Austin that I love. And since Waymo does have a little bit of a history there, is that a possibility? <laughs> is this your version of asking the question of like, you know, Dimitri, I know you can't share your commercial and deployment roadmap, but, but I'm thinking about moving to should San I? Francisco of Austin, like, you know, blink twice if you think I should move to him. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. You got me. But, well, you know, we've been <laughs> testing in all over the place. I think we've been testing more than you know, 25 cities. Uh, we drive in San Francisco. We drive in you know, Michigan for snow. Uh, we, we are doing significant amount of testing in the Bay Area, including San Francisco. Now. Which is not like, because we're talking about the very different thing, which is like a full on large geographic area public service. Uh, you, you can't share any, okay. Thank you. <sighs> what about Moscow? Is that, when's that happening? Take on uh, Yandex. I'm not paying attention to those folks. They're doing, <laughs> you know, there's there's a lot of fun. I mean, maybe that, that as a way of a question, you didn't speak to sort of like policy or like, is there tricky things with government and so on? Like, is there other friction that you've encountered except sort of technological friction of solving this very difficult problem? Is there other stuff that you have to overcome when when uh, deploying a public service in a city? That's interesting. It's, it's very important. So we we put significant effort in uh, creating those partnerships and you know those relationships with governments at all levels, you know, local governments, municipalities, you know, state level, federal level. Uh, we've been engaged in very deep conversations from the earliest days of our, you know, uh, projects, uh, whenever, uh, at all of these levels, you know, whenever we go you know, to test uh, or, you know, operate in a new area, you know, we always lead with, you know, with a conversation uh, with the local officials. Um, and But the result of that, that investment is that, no, it's not challenges we have to overcome, it is, but it is a, a very important that we you know, continue to have this conversation. 